Israelites coming week in and week out to proclaim the gospel of the kingdom to the nation of Israel. You Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, and those that uh, are scattered among uh, the, the, the nations that can trace their lineage back to those people. We'd like to start by giving all praises to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Rakakadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles who rule well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect and enough respect to the brothers that's laboring to be in the spirit. And Lord Yahweh Shai came in, brother, you mind stepping over a little? Yes, sir. Yeah. Come, come, come. You're not in the shower. Come. 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 So, uh, you know, we out here once again, you know, uh, trying to be obedient to the Heavenly Father. We're going to go into a, a topic about uh, his workmanship. Fine. Definition for workmanship. And this is going to be uh, workmanship. In the etymology, it says performance of labor. Uh, it says uh, from workmen plus ship, meaning skill as a workman. So skill as a workman or performance of labor. It says skill in the occupation or trade. Huh. It's, it's skill, skill in the art or trade, skill in the art or trade, skill as a workman, mm -hmm. or performance of labor. Mm. Which I got a lesson called uh, the fruits, the fruits of your labor. You can labor in the flesh, or you can labor in the spirit. You mm -hmm. know. Yep. Yep. That's right. Shoot, I did the lesson on uh, what is the work. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, kind, kind, uh, uh, yep, yep. Uh, that diagram yeah. where they're like, they're like, oh, my bad. No, you're good. You're good. Workmanship. It says craftsmanship, uh, artistry, mm -hmm. craft, artisanship, handiwork. Mm. So, oh, which, which men, men are, are, are the Heavenly Father's uh, handiwork. Mm -hmm. You know? It says expertise, mm -hmm. technique, Technique, technique. So the Heavenly Father actually uses men and his different creations as his techniques, as his artistry, you know? It says skillfulness. Skillfulness. So the Heavenly Father, this, this, uh, how men operate, how men move, that's the skill and technique of the Heavenly Father, you know? On, on both, both on the left hand and the right hand. It says, uh, other synonyms for workmanship is foxiness, cunning. Is it foxiness, cunning, slyness, mm. guile. Oh, see? So that's the left hand right here. That's the left hand side. That's right. It says trade or uh, crap. So the Heavenly Father has workmanship on the right hand side and on the left hand side. He has workmanship uh, with, uh, of, of, e of evil men, of, of evil creation, and he also has uh, workmanship with the, on the right hand. That's his artistry within uh, righteousness and good. You know? That's right. That's right. The Psalms. Chapter 145. What's that, verse 9? This Psalms, chapter 145, 
And verse 9, the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, is good to all. And his tender mercies are over all his works. That's right. So the Most High has mercy over all his works. <clears throat> you know, the Most High shows mercy on all his works, man. You know, that's his skill. Yep. That's his technique, man. Mm -hmm. That's his artistry, man. You know, mm -hmm. that's his carving, you know. Yep. He didn't just make it just to make it, right. you know. That's right, Al. That's right. The Most High makes things for a purpose, uh -huh. you know, and he loves the purpose of it. He loves the functionality of it. Uh -huh. This uh, this this uh, wisdom of Solomon, chapter eleven, and verse twenty-four. It's like, for thou lovest all the things that are, and abhorrest nothing which thou hast made. For never wouldest thou have made anything if thou hated hadst hated it. That's right, man. That's a beautiful scripture. A lot of brothers have trouble breaking that down because they be so they're, they're so into how the Most High hates other nations. No, he doesn't. He may love them less, but he still loves the functionality of them. He didn't make anything that he hates, you know, in the, in the way that men that men hate. You know, we hate to the point where we we, we become destructive and we start to destroy the purpose in the thing. But Most High hates the thing in the sense of. Loving it less, but still loving its functionality. This are up, chapter 47 and verse 22. Uh -huh. But the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Son, will never leave off his mercy, neither shall any of his works perish, neither will he abolish the posterity of his elect. And the seed of him that loveth him, he will not take away. Wherefore he gave a remnant unto Jacob, and out of him a root unto David. That's right. So the Most High is the father of spirits, man. Being that the Most High is the Father of Spirits, He created spirits to do His bidding here on earth. We are the Most High's hand on earth. Mm -hmm. Whether it be for the on the left hand side, yep. which is uh, for uh, nefarious purposes, <laughs> or whether it be on the right hand side uh, for for purposes of, for, for purposes of uh, benevolence. Mm -hmm. You know. Matter of fact, I, I think I have one. Joel two. With Joel twelve. Yeah, that, I was yeah. gonna go there. Oh, okay, okay. I was, that's the spirit. I, I wasn't going to that exact one, but I can jump to that. Is that, uh, which one is, is that, uh, is it 20, 20, 20, uh, I know it's, uh, I was thinking 16, which one is that? Because I know you had put me on that. It's Job, chapter 14, verse 15. If a man die, shall he live again? All the days of my appointed time will I wait till my change come. For now... I got a, I got a quick one, brother, brother, find this precept. This ain't Job, chapter 14, verse 15. Thou shalt call, and I will answer thee. Thou will have a desire to the work of thine hands. Yeah, thou, thou, thou will have a desire for the work of thine hands, man. You know, so the Most High, he said, I will call, you will call, and I will answer thee. You shall have a desire for the work of thine hands. You know, and what is the work of the Most High's hands? His workmanship. So we are on his hands on earth, mm -hmm. you know? This uh, this Job chapter twelve 
and verse 16. With him is strength and wisdom. The deceived and the deceiver are his. That's right. The deceived and the deceiver are, are, are the most highs, man. Both are his. Because <laughs> they're both his workmanship. Yep. You know, he needs he needs both of them. They're both uh, equally important. Mm -hmm. They're both equally important. You can't have one without the other. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You need people that are that are that are operating in, uh, in, in, in in wickedness in order to make you the righteous of the heavenly Father. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's, uh, this Romans. This Romans chapter 11 and verse 28. As concerning the gospel, they are enemies for your sakes. But as touching the election, they are beloved for the Father's sakes. Yeah, so it's concerning the gospel, they are enemies for your sakes. So the Most High has created enemies for you on purpose, man. This is, so, this is what, what's going on. Oh, what's up, brother? <laughs> Good to see you, man. Yeah, so they're enemies we create that game about the song. So like, yeah. This Romans chapter 11 and verse 28. As concerning the gospel, they are enemies for your sakes. But as touching the election, they are beloved for the Father's sakes. That's right. So concerning the gospel, they are enemies for your sake. So that's be certain uh who the who the uh the people in the faith like to talk about the two-thirds so much. Or the third, the the the, uh, the third part therein that shall be cut, or the, the two parts therein that shall be cut off and die. They like to talk about them so much, but they're got, they're enemies to the gospel for your sake. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know you need to you need to be thinking the, the Most High that you that you're on the other side. You know what I mean? Lord willing, Lord willing. Yeah, that's right. But uh, concerning the election, they're they're uh, they're beloved for the Most High's sake. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because eventually all, all Israel will be saved anyway. Yep, that's what two verses up. Let's read it. Jumping up two verses and verse 26. And so all Israel shall be saved as it is written. There shall come out of Sion the deliverer and shall turn away, un all, uh, away ungodliness from Jacob. There it is right there. So, you know, they're going to be beloved by the Heavenly Father one way or another. Because the Most High loves all his works. You know? He loves all his works. You're not you're not on a pedestal. Yes, right? no, 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 no. You're not on a pedestal. You know what I'm saying? To the point where uh, you know you can you can you you have uh, room enough to boast. You know you should boast. You should boast in the fact that you uh that you that you know the Most High, man. Mm -hmm. And you understand that He exercises love and kindness yep. upon all flesh, man. Yep. You know that's what you should boast about. Yep. <laughs> you know not that you're some elect guy. Oh yeah, let me get that one for you. Let me get that one for you. This is Jeremiah. This is Jeremiah chapter 9 and verse 23. Mm -hmm. Thus said the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, mm -hmm. let not the wise man glory in his wisdom, neither let the mighty man glory in his might, let not the rich man glory in his riches, but let him that glory of glory in this, that he understandeth and know of me, that I am the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, which exercise loving kindness, judgment, and righteousness in the earth. For in these things I delight, said the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah. That's right, man. So he, the Most High exercises judgment and righteousness in the earth, man. You know, fair and equity. You know, that fairness and that equity throughout the whole earth, man. Yep. Boast in that. <laughs> you know, not Boast that you you're, understand that. Yeah, yeah. Boast that you understand that. You know, that you understand the, the Most High, the, how the Most High works, man. You know, that you understand somewhat yeah. how the Most High will. You know, and, 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 and getting uh, a glimpse of the Heavenly Father's uh, mind, that's supposed to humble you like a, a lot. Mm -hmm. That's supposed to humble you a lot. It's really supposed to calm your ass down, man. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Because you're supposed to be able to see what's, what's, what's truly going on and understand that the Heavenly Father has purposes for everything that He's created and, and, and has an a, a overall counsel for the grand scheme of things, you know? Yeah, that's right. You're not supposed to take the information and be like, and let it, pu let it puff you up, you know? 
then you, you're operating outside of your purpose and your use, mm. your usefulness. Because mm -hmm. he's created things for their specific uses. Mm. And all things are obedient to their uses mm. and their purposes, like it says in the book of uh, Sarah. Sarah. Yeah, let me get there. So once you start puffing, getting puffed up, you're not operating according to the usefulness that the most, the most high has a uh, purpose in his mind for you. Mm. On the right hand side. That's right. <laughs> you start crossing over into uh, to to that uh, guy. That's right. You start you, you, you start being those things that are, that are not honorable in the house of the Lord. Mm. You're, you were a vessel of honor. Woo. And then you turn into a vessel with mm. dishonor. Yeah, come on now. Yep. Yep. This is a rock, chapter 18 and verse 3. Well, I start at one. Mm -hmm. It's the rock chapter 18 and verse one. He that liveth forever created all things in general. <laughs> That's right. He created all things mm. in general. Mm. He created all things, man. Mm. You know? The Lord, Yahweh by Sim Yahweh only is righteous. And there is none other but he. That's right. He's righteous. You know mm. what I mean? That doesn't mean he's just going to. You know, just just because he, you know, he chose you, you're a chosen people, but he still exercises righteousness throughout the whole earth. Right. Mm -hmm. Verse three, who governeth the world, <laughs> who governeth the world with the palm of his hand, and all things obey his will, for he's the king of all, by the power dividing holy things among them for profane. Woo. That's right. So he's dividing holy things from the profane you know what i'm saying and it says that he that all things obey him you know what i'm saying and he's the, he's the king of all you know so you don't want to cross over and become the profane because then you you no longer uh have the have the uh are fit for use because the scripture talks about so you can be fit for the uh master's use yeah it's fit for the master's use mm -hmm. you don't want to no longer be fit for the master's use because he's like i created you to be the holy mm -hmm. You know, and not the profane. So once you cross over and become the profane, mm -hmm. you're no longer fit for the master's use. Mm -hmm. Then what are you, you hewn down and thrown in the fight? Woo. That's good, right? Well, uh, let me read 14. Verse 4. To whom have you given power to declare his works? And who shall find out his noble acts? That's right. So who? He's giving you the, the power to, to, to declare his works. You know, he's giving you, the, in a sense, He's giving you the power to declare certain these these uh, the mysteries. You know what I mean? Certain mysteries. You know what I mean? And, and, and it says, who, and who shall find out his noble acts? You know what I mean? So, on a, in a grand, in a, in a large scale, we don't understand. We don't understand the heavenly Father and all the things that He does. Right. You know what I'm saying? But the very little that we do understand should be worth it. Yeah, that's right. That's right. And that's major. You know, Scripture talks about that. It talks about the little that you do know is great, man. Well. A lot, a lot of, a lot of brothers don't understand the importance of workmanship. That's the problem. Mm -hmm. They don't understand the purpose of workmanship, man. Mm -hmm. And that's what throws a lot of brothers off, man. You know, you have to be able to understand workmanship to be a servant of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh That's right. That's right. This Proverbs chapter 16 and verse 4. Ooh, I can start at 3. This, this Proverbs chapter 16 and verse 3. Commit thy works unto the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, and thy thoughts shall be established. Come on, commit your works unto the Heavenly Father, and then your thoughts shall be established. Mm. You know what I mean? So you're a workmanship, and he wants to get his work through you. Mm. He's doing his work through you. Yeah, he, you're, you're his technique, you're his skill. Yep. You yep. know? So commit your works unto the Heavenly Father. Mm. And then your thoughts will be established. Mm. It says, The Lord, Yahweh by Sim Yahweh Shai, have made all things for himself. Yeah, even the wicked for the day of evil. Yeah, so the Most High has made righteous people and he's made wicked people. He made, he's made people that are going to continue after their own lusts. And people that are going to, uh, to, uh, to, to, uh, to pursue righteousness. You know? So he's made all things for himself, yet even the wicked for the day of evil. Mm. So the wicked are going to do wicked things. None of the wicked shall understand, like the scripture says. The righteous shall understand. Mm -hmm. You know? Yep. So, so, what, so what are you so mad at the wicked for, man? The wicked were, was created for you. How about some of size purposes, man? Mm -hmm. Even for the day of evil, man. <laughs> That's right. 
That's why you shouldn't be so infat so uh, infatuated and so uh, and so uh, hung up on the wicked mm -hmm. and how they're going to be punished. Mm -hmm. That doesn't concern you. <laughs> you know what I mean? That doesn't concern you. You're supposed to be uh, occupied in the meditation.